Welcome to the demo of the Code Smell Visualization feature of JD Odorant. In this video, we will demonstrate the visualizations for two specific smells detected by JD Odorant Feature Envy and God Class. We assume that you have already installed the JD Odorant plugin. If you have not, you can find the installation instructions on the website shown on the screen. If you want to follow along with this demo, make sure that you've imported the JHotJob project version 5.3 into your workspace. Let's begin with Feature Envy. Feature Envy occurs when a method references another class through methods and fields more often than it references its own class. The solution is to move the method to the class that it is the most envious of, passing any parameters the new method requires. To launch the tool, select the Feature Envy item from the Bad Smells menu. This will open the Feature Envy view in the bottom of your workspace. You can identify Feature Envy opportunities in a project, in a package, or even in a single class. For this example, we will choose the whole JHotDraw project. Once the project is selected, click the Identify Bad Smells button. A series of progress bars will appear. Once the identification is finished, a list of possible refactoring suggestions will be displayed in a table at the bottom of your screen. When you double click on one of the suggestions, the affected parts of the code are highlighted and the Code Smell Visualization tab opens. The tab is easily movable to anywhere you want an Eclipse. This allows you to view the visualization and the actual source code at the same time, which makes for a better understanding of what is happening. The figures in the diagram are easily movable. The visualization shows the source class on the left, which originally contains the method to be moved shown with a white background. On the right is the target class where the method is going to be moved to. In the middle is the potentially moved method. The moved method has connections to all the methods and fields it references. The number on the connection indicates the number of times this method or field was accessed. There is a legend to indicate the different types of connections. How does this visualization help? Well, if the move method has the majority of its connections to the target class in comparison to the source class, then it is a good refactoring suggestion. Considering this is the case for this example, this refactoring suggestion should definitely be applied. Next, we move on to God class. God class usually violates the single responsibility principle, and it controls a large number of objects implementing different functionalities. The solution is to extract all the methods and fields which are related to a specific functionality into a separate class. To launch the tool, select the God class item from the Bad Smells menu. And the God class view will open at the bottom of your workspace. Once again, select the project and click Identify Bad Smells. Once the identification is finished, the table is populated. The results are grouped by source class. They are sorted by their entity placement and in ascending order, with the best value at the top of the group. To see the results within a group, click on the Expand button to the left of the respected row. When you double click on one of the suggestions, the source class file will open in the editor with the extracted entities highlighted and the code smell visualization tab will also open. Once again, you can move the figures so they all fit on the same screen or you can use the scale to fit option. I will go into more detail about all the features in the next part of this video. The visualization shows the source class on the left which originally contained all of the extracted methods and fields. On the right 
is the extracted class, which now contains all of those methods and fields. The extracted methods have connections to all the methods and fields they reference. Once again, the number on the connections indicates the number of times this method or field was accessed. And there is a legend indicating what the different types of connections are. How does this visualization help? Well, if the extracted methods have the majority of its connections to the extracted class in comparison to the source class, then it is a good refactoring suggestion. Considering this is the case for this example, we should definitely consider the suggestion to refactor. For the last part of this video, I will talk about some of the useful tools that are included in the code smile visualization feature. The first tool we have is Zoom. There are several ways you can zoom. On the toolbar, there is a small magnifying glass icon. When clicked, a drop down menu appears displaying different options. You can select one of the predefined zoom op options 50%, 100%, or 200%. Another option is the scale to fit button which scales the diagram to fit in the code smell visualization window. This option can be useful to see how large a diagram is. You can also manually put in the zoom value that you prefer. Finally, you can zoom by holding down the control button and scrolling the mouse wheel. Another tool is having the option of selecting which type of connection you want to make visible. Sometimes the visualizations can become extremely busy when there are multiple connections for each type. By using the checkboxes in the legend, you can make different types of connections appear and disappear, allowing for a clearer picture. Another tool is the highlighting of connections. It is sometimes difficult to determine which method is calling what. By moving the mouse pointer over a method, you can highlight the outgoing connections from that specific entity, allowing you to see exactly what is happening in the diagram. As you can see, the numbers on the connections also get highlighted, making it easier for you to see. Finally, there are tooltips. There are times when a method or field's name is too long to be displayed. A tooltip displaying the full name of the method or field appears when you move the mouse pointer over it. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching.